Okay guys, so just running through again very quickly what I picked up from the online click and collect order again this week. So I'm with the fruit and veggies up this side. So we've just got some lettuce, some spinach, some ginger avocados, little grape tomatoes, some salad, cucumbers, sweet potatoes, lemons. Thank you, Freddie. Some bananas and onions, capsicums, and some apples for the kids' lunch boxes. A pantry staple, just some gluten-free bread, some chicken noodles for snacks for the kids. They eat these just either dry or cooked up like two-minute noodles. Uh, some stock for making polenta, that's in one of the meal plans. Some coffee pods, some butter, sour cream, some Greek-style yogurt, cheese, cheese shredded and sliced. This is the polenta for one of the slow-cooked chicken recipes. Um, eggs, some regular milk, some almond milk that needs refrigerating, then some uh, lunch meats, feta cheese, dried apricots, and then a couple of things were in the cart left over from last time, which I didn't actually mean to purchase, which is these wing nibbles. Um, so I had these in the cart from last week's top up order, uh, but that's okay. I'll just chuck them in the freezer and use them in a recipe, maybe on the weekend. And also Freddie likes to have a little nibble on those. Uh, some thigh fillets. So this is what the main slow cooker recipe base is for this week's meal plan that I'm going to split into four different, very different recipe ideas all from the one base meal plan or from the one base recipe. Uh, this is for Freddie for his little um, dinner meal preps. So he has his regular dry puppy food kibble uh, and then I just cook this up and then I just use it to kind of sprinkle over the top. So it Keeps his food a little bit more interesting. Dried apricots, don't know if I said that. Uh, some olives that's going in one of the chicken cacciatore recipes. So some base tomato pasta sauce for slow cooked base. And then these ones I like to have, these were on special. I think they were $3 each. So I picked up a few of those. Some sliced beetroot, a backup can of just tuna, some salsa, red kidney beans, chickpeas, just some freezer chips the kids usually have these like on the weekend sometimes if we don't have these with a the meal the kids sometimes just make these on the weekends for a snack uh some rice crackers chocolate cookies these were on super special replacement rolled oats and then just some lunchbox snacks so some little pringles popcorn uh bread rolls for uh, lunch boxes corn thins just some veggie herb sea salt uh, which my son asked to get some Shapes pizza, then some cereal, so it's a Nutri-Grain, and I got these ones because I mentioned to the kids that I'd seen them. And they're like, oh, mum, get them. And I was like, oh, it's like $7 a box, so these were on special. So I got those for them for a treat. Some salted pretzels. And then this one, this oat milk I tried this week and I liked it, so I repurchased it. And then they must have been out of stock, so they've sub substituted it for this brand, which is also good, so I'm happy with that. And I think this one's way more expensive than this one. Um... So that's good. Uh, and then just some iced tea cordial and some pink grapefruit. So I just mix these with soda stream water instead of having like soda or soft drinks, which is a good little tip. Uh, and then just some, I just pack off the multi-pack of the veggie chips. Ooh. And then again, this was a substitute. I asked for like the bakery loaf of white bread but they've just substituted it with the I don't know basic white bread anyway Riley was the one that asks always asks for white bread so I just got that for him so I'm going to quickly put all this away same old same old put it away and then start on the meal prep which is much simpler this week than last fortnight when I did that super kind of not complicated but it was just like a lot of cooking each night this week I'm going super easy on myself I'm making one base recipe with the chicken and then splitting it out into four very different recipes. So I'll show you what the meal plan is. Let's get this all put away. Should I get up and run, stop that right before 
So guys, I'm never quite sure if I explain myself well enough when I put the explanations of what I'm doing in the subtitles, but basically what I've done is just made a massive batch of slow cooked chicken and then I'm going to split it into four base recipes. So the chicken cacciatore that I'm just stirring right now. And then we've got chili kind of chicken in the slow cooker that has had some taco seasoning and some mixed beans added to it. And then I have set aside some that I'm going to turn into like a Moroccan inspired sort of tagine chicken, although it's cooked in a saucepan, uh, but just a Moroccan style chicken. With the chicken cacciatore, we're going to have it like one night plain, just like chicken cacciatore. And then with the leftovers, we're going to make some little mini pies, homemade pies with it. And then I think there'll also be enough to make like another leftover meal, which will probably just be like a pasta dish or something like that. I absolutely love doing this when I just use one big base recipe and then kind of split it out into different meals. And people might think, oh, it's a lot of chicken to have in one week. But the meals are so different that you don't really notice it and you don't get sick of it. So here I'm just adding the chickpeas and some Moroccan seasoning to the Moroccan tagine. And I know tagine is a cooking instrument, but I don't have one. Uh, but we're just calling that and some dried apricots as well. Chicken cacciatore, I'm going to have half of that for a meal and then save half of that for chicken cacciatore pot pies on Thursday. Moroccan style chicken with chickpeas, apricots and the same slow cooked chicken base. And then in this one it is just the Mexican beans with a packet of taco seasoning and the other quarter of the chicken base. Okay, so I thought I would pop back on and do a little voiceover to explain how I make the polenta. Now, normally I get the instant polenta, which cooks really quickly, like in about five minutes, but this was not instant polenta, which takes around 15-ish minutes to cook. Now, normally it says on the instructions that you can just use water to boil the polenta, but I like to do it with half milk and half stock for the liquid portion and add butter to that so that it just has a really nice creamy flavor. It's like a substitute for mashed potatoes. So you warm up the milk and the stock and I go half and half for whatever the liquid amount is for the polenta you're cooking. Once that is warm, you just add the polenta in a stream while whisking it. And then you have to continuously whisk it and whisk it and whisk it until it is thickened and cooked through and it's grainy. So you just have to keep on tasting it and, um, you know, kind of cook it to taste. Then once it is cooked, you add in as much grated Parmesan as you like. Obviously we are cheese lovers in this house. So we put in tons uh, and then you just season it with salt and pepper. And it is a great and pretty simple alternative to, you know, the regular mash that you might have as a side dish. So definitely if you haven't ever tried making polenta at home, definitely go ahead and try it. It's not Riley's favorite, I must say, but I kind of keep making him try it with different dishes. Uh, you'll also see later on in this video, the leftover polenta, we just put in the fridge in a container and it sets quite hard. You then can slice it and you can grill it up or you can bake it in the oven to make like grilled polenta chips.
Now, since I have been making these meal prep cook with me type videos and I share like footage of us eating dinner together, a lot of people comment that we eat at the table uh, and it's always positive comments, but I'm like, where do people normally eat their dinner? Like, do you eat it on the sofa or in a coffee table or at the kitchen bench? Uh, as in where, if you don't eat at the dinner table, where do you normally eat dinner? For me, uh, I always eat at the dinner table one because it's kind of family time uh, and it's nice just to kind of catch up. And I honestly would not trust my kids to eat on the sofa or I probably wouldn't even trust myself because it's a white sofa and I don't want to have to deal with cleaning up even more mess than I already have to clean up from it. So let me know in the comments below where you eat your dinner. Like, do you actually eat your dinner as a family at the dinner table or somewhere else? The other thing I always get comments on is how good it is that I get my kids involved with cleaning up. And now definitely, if you make a mess in this house, you can help and contribute to cleaning it up. That is the motto here. So it doesn't take long. And honestly, the job is, you know, split in three if all three of us get in and do it together. Of course, if I was left to do it on my own, one, I'd be cranky. I would not be impressed. Uh, and I'd feel probably resentful if everyone else is sitting on the sofa watching TV or something and I'm left cleaning it up. So everyone pitches in absolutely every night that my kids are here. They always help. They're in charge of stacking the dishwasher or doing the dishes or wiping down the glass dining room table. In some way, everyone just pitches in and gets it done and that way everyone does it together it's done as quickly as possible and then everyone can go and chill out and relax on the sofa watching tv or go and do their own thing so guys this is what we ended up having tuesday night for dinner it was the chili chicken and we just made it into some uh, kind of wraps like soft taco type things um kind of like gyros greek style gyros with the oven baked chips in it as well the kids really love those so we just added those in freddie also wanted to get in on the action but unfortunately he could not have any of this because it all had onion or garlic or some kind of seasoning but he did get a little treat and this is really delicious so again it's the same chicken base, but it is a completely different meal. Then on night three, which was Wednesday night, here is the polenta that we didn't eat on the first night on Monday after it had set in a glass container, just sliced it up and then just grilled it in some butter. And then it's grilled polenta with the Moroccan style chicken. Uh, and I know that they wouldn't typically normally be served together, I don't think, but just using up the leftovers. And honestly, we don't really care in this family if it goes together or not. Uh, as long as it tastes good, that's all we're interested in. And then on the Thursday night, we had the leftover chicken cacciatore in some pasta. So that was a really delicious, quick, simple meal. I like to do really simple meals on Thursday night because we have swimming training in the afternoon and we often get home late. So this was a perfect recipe. Then for the last night, we actually had the leftover chicken and we used all the leftover chicken meals and we just made some Kmart mini pies. Now this wasn't actually the footage of us making those particular pies. We had this footage of us making them another time. So this isn't the chicken filling, but this is how we make the mini pies with leftovers. So different filling, not the chicken, but this is the exact same process that we go through to make these pies. This is a Kmart pie maker. It was, I think $30, so a total bargain. And all you do is cut out some short crust pastry to put on the base of the pies, fill it with whatever you want, and then use puff pastry to top them. You can actually now get a six pie pie maker from Kmart. I think it's around the $40 mark. Uh, so if you've got a bigger family, obviously that would be better suited for you. But I find that this is really quick and easy. And it's a great way to make up leftovers that the kids are guaranteed to eat because they're super tasty. And let's face it, who doesn't like a pie? So guys, that is it for today's meal prep grocery haul, cook with me, eat with us video. It's been a long time since I've made this with the 21 day challenge. This was actually from, I think week one of that challenge that we filled it. So I've got another one that is ready to go almost. So you are guaranteed to have your grocery haul and cooking videos back in full force. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, I'll leave some more videos in the description that I think you will enjoy and maybe consider subscribing to this channel. Have a fabulous day everyone and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye everyone. I got you buried.